Hey everyone, Sean Zinsmeister here, and welcome to our first episode of the ThoughtSpot Plus Google Cloud demo series as we embark on the road up to Google Next. We have a ton of great stuff in the Google Cloud ecosystem that we want to run through. But today, we're talking about generative AI on BQ and how ThoughtSpot can help you deliver generative AI to the entire enterprise at scale uh, in a trusted and reliable manner. So let's dig in. Right here you have ThoughtSpot. Um, I will show you very quickly how this is set up. But ThoughtSpot's generative AI allows you on top of BQ uh, using this uh, streaming services data. Uh, think about like your favorite video streaming network. So you can ask questions about user behavior and, and a lot of the understanding where business efficiencies are falling down and where you can improve them and take action. So for example here, you might just want to start with a simple high level question like, show me the most watched shows in the last six months. And what you're going to see is ThoughtSpot understands the question and is going to automatically create an answer to this question. So there we go. So it looks like Ted Lasso is leading the way. And everything here, again, this is live query on top of BQ. And of course, the beauty of ThoughtSpot is I can always go beyond the dashboard. So I can keep asking the next questions and the next prompts. Uh, or I can drill down you know, to really understand, for example, things by customer region with just a click. So here you can see, here's all the regions uh, broken down as you see them. So how do you go about setting this up in a Google Cloud environment? Uh, so number one, you can purchase ThoughtSpot today through Google Cloud Marketplace. That's our SaaS version. That's what I'm showing you here today. And you can see that I've already set up a BQ connection here where I have all of my fact and dimension tables uh, all connected in ThoughtSpot. So I set up this connection. I then go ahead and select the different facts and dimensions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into what we call a worksheet or a semantic model in ThoughtSpot. This is what allows you to have that safe, reliable self-service um, and be able to really make sure that the generative AI is proving to be reliable um, so the users have confidence to explore freely. Um, so once you have this all set, we would build something that looks like this. This is a worksheet in ThoughtSpot. So if you go over to the join section, you can see this is kind of a window into BQ. And you see how all the joins that are set up. And to dig into how the worksheet was actually built, what I'm showing you here is here's all of the dimension and fact tables that have been selected. And then you would go through and you would select the values from each. And here you go. I even have formulas that I have also created as well. So you can use our formula Builder, for example, if you have custom formulas that you want uh, to be a part of this model, you can do that so you can ask questions in a consistent manner. So once you have this, then you're really ready to start asking questions. So for example, what if we took another example prompt here and it's time to save some time. Let's go ahead and copy paste this. So let's say you're looking at how subscriptions and canceled subscriptions are trending monthly. It's pretty common. You're running a subscription business to see this side by side. Again, ask a question. And now what I want to point out is the different keywords that are produced here below. We do that for transparency and to making sure that what the generative AI is producing uh, is reliable and what the user is expecting. You can always go in here and edit it. This opens what we call the query builder. Uh, and then here you have access to the semantic model here on the side. Uh, so you can use this to either you know, continue your exploration or you may want to just you know, add in programming type. Uh, you can use this as the builder as well. So it's very common for somebody to maybe start with a natural language question and then go into the builder where you can continue uh, to drill um, and expand your analysis as you see fit. So we really appeal to the many styles that you want to explore your data live on BQ. Of course, I can continue to keep asking questions using the generative AI. Uh, so maybe one more question we can ask here is, how many customers are our original? You can see it's already got this query there. So we have original programming, and then we have um, other programming that, that, is, that is paid for that we bring into our catalog. So how is it actually, how is this doing? that we bring out each month. And so we can see and then go in here and look at this by say, even down to show name. The ability for ThoughtSpot to let you drill into BQ data at its most granular form 
um, is extremely powerful. So maybe I want to look at this broken down by gender so I can see where that is going, is, is getting broken down, really understand my audience um, in, in a big way, in a more detailed way so I can action on it. This may lead to future advertising programs or even what we've seen with some customers say I can use this data to inform future content uh, uh, things that we may want to broadcast. Once you have this, uh, you can go ahead and pin this to what we call a live board. A live board is a collection of charts and visualizations in ThoughtSpot uh, that all is completely self-service. So this again is all live on VQ and comes with all of your favorite cross filters. Um, I can add parameters and things like that for more advanced visualization and analysis. I even have these KPI visualizations for great heads up display and everything in ThoughtSpot again is meant to be uh, interactive. This is why we call it live analytics on VQ. Um, and finally, uh, we also offer some of the more popular data science tools out of the box. If you have these KPIs you want to figure out, well, hey, why is this trending down? Uh, with one click, you can kick off a change analysis. Um, so that's a full generative AI experience, uh, kind of from end to end. Let's see here. Great, we're pulling out the, uh, the different anomalies that are pushing this down. So I got to that really, really quickly. So I start with a natural language search. Uh, the generative AI can get me going. I can go into the builder. Um, I continue to kind of build my analysis and explore live on BQ data, uh, move it to a live board for further consumption and analysis as well. So it's an introduction to some of the main features uh, for generative AI that we're offering on BQ. Um, hope you'll stop by and see us at next and talk to you then.